Good morning to everybody. Uh, I want to make a video about a topic, or better, about two topics that interest me a lot, especially in this uh, present moment, because they are, I think they are important and they are both related to the present situation. And uh, to me, they are related one, one, one to another. And uh, so after the video, you can decide if uh, you agree with me that they are related, they are important, and what if you agree with me, what we can do to face them. Uh, I will expose them in a, in a sequ in sequence. So first, in the first topic, which is essentially the situation, the, the present situation of a civilization uh, from the point of view of uh, ecological, economical, political uh, stages, which essentially it could be summarized in uh, saying that the, our civilization is facing a major crisis and this crisis, uh, uh, differently from the past, in which many civilizations faced crisis, major crisis, they could survive, they couldn't survive, it happened many times, you know, from Roman Empire and so forth, many civilizations failed, some of them uh, recover and uh, survived, then maybe failed afterwards. In this present moment, the situation is different because uh, the, pre the human civilization is uh, globally interconnected. So, differently from, for let's say, a as an example, uh, um, from what happened to Roman Empire, when Roman Empire failed, at least the, the, the western part of it, it was a big crisis, you know, a big part of humanity had to face the, the situation, but uh, not all of them. Not all humanity was uh, affected, and I'm pretty sure that there were many parts of the, the planet, let's say Chinese civilization or you know the, the, the middle the Middle East or Africa and so forth for America that that were not affected. Nowadays, the situation is different from what I said, because if our civilization failed, all planet would be involved in this situation. Uh, there is a very interesting video, w very well made, which uh, is called, uh, uh, the title is Why Everything Will Collapse, and I think it's very well made, it's n not so long, and it, it, it explains essentially what is my point. I invite you to, to check for it, to, to, to watch it, because it's very good. Uh, I will try to summarize it uh, the, the best way, and, the, and essentially they as the title says, uh, why everything will collapse, uh, the point is that there was we are going through uh, a crisis and we won't solve it. Uh, the main point is that uh, we won't solve it because uh, the situation is very dire, because we are in the middle of, uh, you know, economically we are facing a lot of crisis that we can see, you know. We are facing an um, exhaustion of um, materials, uh, um, raw materials or uh, resources in general, from, al from food resources to material resources, chemical resources and, and so forth. We are in the middle of the sixth uh, mass extinction, we know that. It happened before, this is the sixth because that it happened five times before, but this time, and it's something it in quite dire, uh, you know, but uh, the main difference is that uh, in this case it the extinction is um, created by species, which is us. So if you check, you know, the, the, the life, uh, the every day we lose uh, um, a species, many species maybe, and there are a lot of, you know, uh, ecological problem and uh, extinction species related problem related to that. Uh, <coughs> the point is that the, the video says that uh, the situation is for sure is dire. Uh, we knew already many years ago that the situation was like that. Uh, I can quote one uh, among uh, many other um, warnings that comes from the from the past, which is the, um, a book that was called The Limit uh, of Growth, which was published by the Club of, the Club of Rome in uh, 1974, I guess, around, so 50 years ago, in which they said essentially that the, the, the situation 
uh, even in, in 70s the situation was not that good because uh, we were using too much resources we eventually we land finishing them you know because resources are limited we are using them more and more so so uh, they try to warn us to be more careful 50 years ago not so much would have been done 50 years ago uh, 50 year after was we are here and the situation is all the same we have even china and india and other countries that are consuming much more than they used to consume um, 50 years ago there are people that are you know uh, increasing their standard of living from the developing countries and they are of course impacting more and more on the uh, environment and so the situation is getting worse not better and uh, the other thing that's stated in the video uh, is that uh, essentially we won't face the, the problem because essentially population and the majority of the population is not uh, considering, perceiving this kind of problem as imminent, urgent and very, uh, very pre preoccupying, life-threatening, let's say and uh, that will affect f for instance the, the, the democratic country because in a democratic country the government is elected by people if people doesn't perceive some kind of problem they don't vote people that they want that they want to solve this kind of problem and so the, the problem won't be solved until the majority of the people will face the problem in their face so they will be forced to see it to face it and to try to solve it, it could be too late. That is the point of the video and I, I completely agree because one thing is to the decision to make to, to build a new bridge, one thing is to the decision to switch from consumption, let's say, from uh, burning oil uh, to use other kind of uh, energy which more clean which is which is more clean. You cannot do it in a in a fourth night so you must decide with a lot of anticipation if you decide too late you won't do any good um, that is the present situation and the video says that probably you won't uh, face it uh, in time I can say that probably in this present in the present crisis in which we are facing thanks to the war too, you know, maybe, or other, other problematic uh, that we are facing in the last two years, uh, we are facing uh, the, the problems uh, more and more and more and more people uh, are forced to see it, you know, the, 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 the shortage of uh, resources, the increasing on prices of resources, uh, even, uh, you know, economically, politically, you know the, the the stress that is affecting even Europe nowadays, and uh, economically, uh, I just can can quote that last year we had uh, what was called the Great Resignation, which was in America, but even in Europe, uh, a lot of people that quit their job because they are sick and tired of it, and they search for other way to live. So, not only people are not gaining a lot of money, are increasing their quality of li li life at least in western uh, country but they are seeing a worsening uh, which anyway a, a very high level of stress that forced them to quit their job sometimes even without having any other possibility for all this reason this situation is facing uh, it could be uh, a ringing bell that force uh, a majority of very big part of the population to see the problem and that could be good at least because at least we are forced to see eventually the problem the majority will f sense the problem and so this is the first step to face it uh, keeping in mind what it is said in that video that I told before but this uh, topic leads me to another one which I think it could be related, which is the rare uh, Earth hypothesis, which says that uh, Earth is not that uh, common as planet, not only in our solar system, which is easily 
visible that is like that because Earth is unique in the solar system. Just you know, ge geolo geologically, as the structure of the planet is different, you know, from the all the others. But even in a, at least in a larger scale, at least at the level of our uh, galaxy, maybe even more. What says uh, Earth? What Earth? Uh, um, rare Earth hypo hypothesis is a try. Uh, it's a trying to, an answer to. The, uh, the Fermi paradox, which stated that uh, according to statistics, uh, according to qu Drake equation, we should find, uh, we should see a lot of uh, civilization around us, you know, at least in our galaxy, but we, we, we don't see any. So considering statistically the possibility to find planets that are similar to Earth, which are very great number in, uh, in the order of hundreds of thousands of them just in our galaxy. If life is common and intelligent life is common, we should see a lot of civilization that are spreading around the, 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 the galaxy in one way or another, or at least make them see because they leave some kind of trace. Uh, even us, which are not so high as civilization in technology, uh, because we we are not at the level of Star Trek or, or Star Wars, but uh, it's at least 70 years that we are uh, sending uh, in the outer space radio signal just because we are using radio, you know. So if you go, let's say that we started to send sig radio signals 70 years ago, maybe more, some more. Uh, yes, this kind of um, radio signal are spreading like a bubble uh, around the Earth uh, and uh, at 70, 80 years, uh, light years from Earth you can hear uh, you know the communication that were made during 30s or 40s the last century. There is a problem of, of noise and the, um, redu the reduction of the quality of the signal of course but we are spread. So, as we are doing in 70 years, if there are some other uh, civilization like us, they should be that they are should uh, they should do the same thing and sending this kind of uh, signals. But we won't see we we don't see any of them. So the point is this: we don't see any kind of civilization or any signal that proves some kind of uh, uh, intelligent life outside the Earth. And even we can s we not see life in general but life general life it's more difficult to s spread the communication so that could be that there are life you know at some light year from us and we cannot see it, it because it's not spreading some kind of signal but about uh, the intelligent life the problem is there and this is what is the, the, the what states the um, fermi paradox the answer to that is the uh, rare earth uh, uh, hypothesis which stated that uh, we don't see any other civilization because intelligent life it's not just uh, it's not common actually it's quite rare probably it's unique at least in our galaxy uh, without any kind of uh, uh, human uh, sh 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 uh, chauvinism uh, that makes us to think that we are special in some way not that the point this would be a bias but in this case uh, I think that the bias could be the opposite because uh, we are accustomed from some kind of literature even the worst uh, kind of s science fiction that we read they are they, there is there is some kind of optimistic view that life is around the, 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 the galaxy you know, and there are life around but this is a completely uh, known proved statement. We don't have proof of that. So it's not a matter of thinking that we are special for some kind of reason, you know, but it could be that we are some kind of special. Because it's true that in, in, in on Earth life spread quite easily, because after some million of years that the, the, the Earth crust um, become cold enough, life spreads. And um, from there, life started to spread and grow and grow and grow. 
not so fast but grow and from them uh, he want he, he, he didn't stop to, to, to be there so it seems that some kind of easily way was prepared it's not that hard to make to life to to start to grow and eventually to end with some kind of maybe intelligent way like us but this is the paradox of the survivor which states that you know if you you are uh, 100 people that try to to go to a trip that is very dangerous and just one uh, succeed and you don't talk with the other you don't see the others and you talk just with the person that su succeeded uh, the, the person that succeeded, succeeded can say that it was not that hard that, and eventually succeeded so you can think that it, it, it was easy to succeed because you don't have the other um, testimony of the, all the others that want the, the, they didn't um, succeed so this case could be the case of li intelligent life on earth because in um, the rare earth hypo hypothesis we consider of course there is no way to check because we have we don't have other way to um, to compare one planet one experiment we don't we cannot replicate the experiment we don't have other earth like planet so close to see what happened when you have some kind of planet similar to earth we just have one but we can study very well the the, the, the one that we have and if you study very well the, the one that we have we saw that there are uh, a lot of things that seems quite unusual uh, for instance earth has uh, a very big moon the biggest moon compared to the planet to which it uh, belongs uh, in all solar system that could could have been caused because moon it's not exactly a moon but probably it's a part of earth caused by a collision with another big planet which make uh, which made uh, another differences uh, particular uh, things uh, on earth that give g gave to earth a very big core the biggest core in even in the um, rocky planet uh, groups because when they two uh, planets collided uh, the major the, the the biggest part of the core of the two planets ended in earth uh, core and moon was essentially just part of the the exterior part of the two planets with recombined in the in the orbit of earth and uh, uh, eventually ended to become the moon uh, other strange thing is oh, difficult thing to happen is the mitochondrial uh, um, encapsulation in um, cells which is not so common it's something that seems quite uncommon difficult other strange thing is that uh, for instance there are many filters but uh, uh, our species had to pass a very uh, stress uh, 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 selection in which it was reduced to very few numbers as uh, so so big was the, 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 the selection which eventually uh, was a bottleneck that reduces reduced so much the the, the variab variability of uh, in the human species uh, and this is why human uh, humankind is so similar all around the globe because we are quite similar and this is why because we pass through this bottleneck uh, this bottleneck was uh, pu put us as a risk to extinctions at least once in our recent history before leaving the, the, the Africa and uh, these are just some of the, 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 the filter that we already passed because we are here so we passed uh, and maybe it's not so easy to pass there so maybe it's easy to in any planet in which you have some water you are not so far from the sun whatever it's the sun uh, it's not that hard to start life we don't know that but it could be but it's easier but then growing to passing all this filter to make a difficult step ahead could be not that easy and uh, of course as i said i just mentioned some of them there are more that we passed but there are others for instance the presence of a big uh, a big uh, or at least two big uh, 
uh, gas uh, p giant planets that prevent to receive too many asteroids because they suck them before they reach Earth and many other things. Uh, the, the, the filters doesn't stop just in the present moment. The, Earth, the rare Earth po uh, hypothesis uh, says that uh, the filter could be in the, fo in the future. Maybe it's common that life started, evolved, reached uh, some kind of intelligent life like ours, but then something happened, like, you know, some inevitable nuclear uh, war or genetic uh, uh, catastrophe, because, you know, you reach some kind of uh, every civilization, reaches some kind of uh, uh, ability to manage DNA, genetics, so other stuff that we maybe we don't even imagine. And eventually, that leads all, every civilization to destroy itself. It could be. This is a, a, a scenario that is mm, contemplated. So the point is this. In this present situation, which economically, uh, env environmentally, ecologically, uh, socially, because we have even social unrest and other stuff, we are facing a problem. We are facing some kind of crisis. I think that could be uh, one problem, one of the filters. So this is the occasion to rethink our way to manage ourselves. Uh, and just time will say that if we survive and we'll continue to uh, improve or whatever, or maybe we can just go back to our previous state of civilization that prevent us to spread around the globe. The, the, the space and let be noticed by other civilization, whatever. Uh, but in some way, I think they are uh, they could be connected, because, as said, I think that uh, earth, rare earth hypothesis could be true. Because strangely enough, uh, it seems that is there is the bias, you know, to think they are special, so it's more common and more. Um, uh, humble to think that life is everywhere, intelligent life is everywhere. But in this case, I don't think it's a mm, device could work uh, in the opposite way. And so we are, we could be um, uh, prone to think that life, and especially intelligent life, is that easy. But it's not. But this m should make us think how important, how valuable is this planet and the life that is over it. So I hope that this video is not so long and my English won't sound too much uh, 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 with strong accent. Uh, and I hope that there will be um, some comments because uh, uh, I'm very interested in these two topics in these two topics and I think the, this is the moment to face all, all two of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.